welcome back to another video. I know I disappeared on y'all again, but law school has just kept me on my toes. Um, it's almost final season, so it's just really busy and I'm just always tired. Like, I can't even explain it. I am exhausted. <laughs> but I decided today to sort of pull myself together because usually I'd be going to class looking weary, like just tired, like I said. Um, but today, the weather is so nice. It's like 82 degrees, which part of me is kind of like, okay, listen, it's almost December. But I also rather go through finals with like nice weather and sunshine rather than pouring rain. So I'm not gonna complain yet. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of look cute for class today. I got some new jewelry from Ana Luisa. So let me show y'all. Cause that's Okay, first of all, packaging, get into it. <laughs> but this bracelet is by far my favorite Ana Luisa piece. I mean, just look at it. This little watch strap situation, fire. I just think it's so unique, so cute. Let me put it on so you can get the full effect. But this is the Aura bracelet and it does come with extra links in case it doesn't fit your wrist. I didn't add, oh, can I get it on? I didn't add the extra links, but you know, it's just nice to have. Oh, you guys, what? I love this. And then I also got a ring. Now, I said this before, but I've been really into rings lately. I want my whole hand stacked up. Um, I'm not gonna do too much since it's just, I'm just going to class today, but the ring with the bracelet, ugh, stop it. So cute. And actually, I really like to stack my rings. Um, so I'm going to add this Okay, I'm forgetting the name. I think the Kona ring, this is also from Ana Luisa, but I'm gonna stack them. I think that looks really cute together. Then I have these necklaces. Now, I'll be honest, when I first pulled these out of the package, I was like, okay, um, it doesn't really look like much, right? But when you put them on, which, give me a second. <laughs> is on they're actually pretty cute very simple very minimal which is my speed when it comes to jewelry at least <laughs> make sure you guys check out Anna Louise's Black Friday sale you can buy one get one 60% off 60% you will not find a better deal and I'm sorry if you don't go get this bracelet even the rings like come on come on link in the description box so i'm about to head to class right now the next few clips you're seeing is actually old footage from when i was vlogging like a week and a half ago um i know the, the video is already starting off chaotic but you're gonna see that footage and then we're gonna jump back to present day <laughs> just bear with me <laughs> something in law school like there's just always something <laughs> do have a venti on deck this is a sugar cookie something it was a holiday drink that i wanted to try listen i went from rarely drinking coffee to ordering ventis like life comes at you fast <laughs>
nearly enough but we have words which is further along than we were before um i came home to eat i was just gonna pick up food but i couldn't decide what i wanted so i'm gonna just cook whatever trader joe's meal i have in my freezer <laughs> um i actually might go back to the library though because i just don't really focus that well at home and i'm not trying to get distracted i just need to knock out majority of this memo um to lighten my load for tomorrow so i'm gonna eat and then contemplate if I want to walk back to the library or maybe use a study room in my apartment. But even then, it's just so easy to walk right back up. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So I buy this Trader Joe's pasta exactly for moments like this. You just pour it in there and let it cook. You don't need to add your own sauce or anything. Oh, you just let this little slab. <laughs> do what it needs to do it could have all been so simple i don't know who came up with blue booking but like leave me out of it <laughs> i don't I, I don't understand blue booking so do you slide on all your nights like this do you try on all your nights like this put some spotlight on this slide. continuing the vlog from when I was working on my memo because I low-key disappeared on y'all but memo got done we turned it in on time for my correct learned my lesson but I just got ready to go to um, a black law student networking event hosted by the Thurgood Marshall Bar Association some of the other black one else from my school are also going so it should be nice I have not like we all have not hung out in a group setting since that brunch I recorded a little bit of back in September. Like I, I do not know these people y'all, I do not. But I would like to know them. Uh, I think the event's gonna be really nice. I'll try to record some clips for you guys. No promises, but I'm gonna try to make something shake. Um, I kinda had to throw on something because I rushed to the nail shop, which took me forever. But my nails, I don't know if y'all peeped, but they looked a mess. So I was like, let me get them done before I go to this event. So um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of time to get ready. I just kind of threw on something. And can I just say, I hate business casual, business professional, whatever you want to call it, clothing. I don't like this, <laughs> but I'll see you guys at the event. Um, or at the very least, I'll come back and you know do a little debrief and let you guys know how it went. <laughs> Back at home, I completely destroyed my apartment when I was getting ready, so I have so much stuff that I need to clean. But the event was really nice. They gave me a goodie bag that I left in my trunk. So I'll show you guys what was in it tomorrow. But it was really nice. I loved all of the attorneys that they had there. Um, afterwards, the 1Ls went to Eureka, which is like, like a place you could get drinks from. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Finally got to know the other black 1Ls. They're all really cool. Um, but yeah, I need to clean up. If y'all can see my room right now. I feel like I'm losing my voice, girl. I was chit-chatting tonight. <laughs> I came back from class and fell asleep. Like, I don't have 50 million things to do, but we're back in present day. I feel like I look very weird. I don't... Anyway, I thought I would catch you guys up to speed on some law school stuff. So, first, the job search. Um, now is around the time we kind of start thinking about jobs we want to apply for. My school doesn't officially let us apply until December 1st, but I did update my resume and have two people take a look at it to give me their feedback. So I added my Irvine stuff and then my pro bono and then I have like my paralegal job and some other stuff. 
I can't really show you. <laughs> um, and then another thing I really need to do is update my Civ Pro outline. This is what I have so far. I'm actually not that behind on it, but if I wait any longer, I will be. So my priority really this week is to get this up to date because Civ Pro is my first final. Um, I'm not sure I'm in love with the format, but as long as the information is here. <laughs> okay, I had to set you all down. Another thing I was gonna talk about was legal writing because the memo I was working on, if I included those clips, you guys saw me working on my final legal writing assignment. And actually I got feedback on it and I have to say I did pretty well, you guys. I was so excited because the first memo, I mean, nobody knows what they're doing on the first memo, but I was happy to see I improved so much in the course. Legal writing is not easy and I feel like people think, oh, if I'm not doing well in the class, that means I'm a bad writer. You're not a bad writer. You just need to follow whatever your professor likes. Um, for me, what helped was looking at the student examples from previous years and sort of studying those, seeing how they use facts, how they did their precedent illustrations, stuff like that. Um, your professor provided those exemplars for a reason and you really don't reinvent the wheel. I think that's the saying, don't reinvent the wheel, literally copy those, not in the sense of plagiarizing. Um, I mean, you obviously have different cases, different facts patterns, like there's nothing to plagiarize, but I mean, just look at it, see the flow, how they make their arguments and that once I started to do that it was like okay you know the feedbacks are getting real good <laughs> um, and then another thing feedback on my first memo was mainly around not using all of the facts at my disposal hey, so we have to ignore my doodles because they are everywhere but before I even start typing I like have to write out my arguments write out which facts are going with which factors, which elements, etc. And y'all, literally, every, this is embarrassing. But yeah, you just have to do a little dump on paper. Again, highlight. Y'all didn't ask me any of this. I'm just, and I am no expert. To be clear, I am nobody's expert. <laughs> but I think this has helped me significantly improve in legal writing. And honestly, again, just follow what your professor likes. Go to office hours, ask questions about the arguments you're trying to make, all of that. Um, yeah, our schedule for next semester, I had to put it into this template from Canva because the way they show us online, um, let me pull it up. This is hideous. Okay. I could not show y'all my schedule like this. So I used the template, but these are the classes that I'll be taking in the spring. So I have crim law torts, con law, legal writing again, and then we were able to choose an elective class. Our options were business associations, property, um, legislation and something, and then an international law course and race and lawyering. I chose race and lawyering because, well, one, if you know me, you are not surprised, <laughs> but also it just made more sense with my schedule. Uh, we are already taking three doctrinal classes between criminal law, torts, and constitutional law. That's a lot. I did not need to add property into the mix or one of those other classes. So not only was it just a class I actually thought I would enjoy, but race and lawyering also just made the most sense in terms of workload. But these are the classes I'm taking. I'm very upset over this Friday class. I have gotten so used to not having classes on Friday, but. Okay, last little thing. This planner is so cute. But last little thing I wanted to show you guys was my finals study schedule. Basically, I'm using a week to study for each class. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Again, I'm no expert. I'm a 1L in my first year. <laughs> so, Civ Pro is my first final. I'm kind of like front loading at the beginning of the week. I'm doing two practice tests each day and then I'm easing up as the week um, or well, as I approach the actual exam date because at this point you know what you know and what you don't know you don't know so that's the pro contracts will be somewhere in between here got to figure that out legal profession I'm really only dedicating two days because this class is not rule based it's not like black letter law 
Um, it's about the professional model roles for professional. I don't even know the proper term, but it's a little more fluff, if you will. So I'm just going to take two practice exams for that class. We have a paper for that class as well. And then, like I said, December 1st is when my school lets us apply to jobs. So I mainly focused on finals, but there are a few positions that I'm going to apply to um, on December 1st because they're more competitive and you know, the earlier the better. But this is like my tentative finals game plan. Game plan, wow. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm not doing anything besides the usual reading, studying, outlining, like I just mentioned. Um, life is very boring these days. I just do law school stuff. Nothing exciting to see here, which is why I have not vlogged. Like, it's the same thing every day. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.